Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube. Just before you start, I need you to understand um, how to solve a 3x3, or at least know the basics of uh, corner pieces, edge pieces, and centers, and basic rotation, because I will be using them. Uh, if you don't know how to solve a 3x3 and you want to know, uh, click in the i-card in the top right there uh, for a tutorial. Uh, so, learning this is going to be a lot easier than this, but... Around four x four, uh, you, you need to know there's no centers. So now this is this is a center, but it's not fixed. So if we do a few turns, your center is basically destroyed. It's not like a five by five where there are fixed centers. Like this is the white side, this is the blue side. Whereas the four x four, you can have any because uh, there's no fixed. Okay, since you know the basics of the four x four cube, let's get started. Alright, the first step in solving a 4x4 cube is actually to build a white center. You can do yellow center, but start in white uh, and follow what I do is basically easier. So, find a white center piece like these, and you want to build a bar. So, uh, move it in a way that when you align it, you get one. So, put that on top when you get one bar, and find the other whites. Alright, so this one, these two, uh, they're already paired. But if you move it up like this, it's going to destroy one of them. So you turn it like this. So then when you move it up, it pairs up. So some cases you might have where uh, you have three on top, but one is on uh, the bottom. Uh, to get this up, you basically flip this until it, when you push this up, it matches with this. So like this, it makes another bar. Now you destroyed that one. So you want to move this out the way and bring that back down to make the first white center. Now that you got your white center, it's time to make the opposite color. And for you who don't know the color scheme, look at a three by three. Obviously the white is yellow, so we're gonna make yellow. So flip the white over and find the yellow center piece. All right, so we got this one. Uh, it's already paired up, so we can move it up into this. Now, since we move it up, we also destroyed one white piece. So to restore that, you can move it out the way, and bring this white piece back down. So you have a yellow and white still intact. So find your next white center, I mean yellow center. We got this one and this one. Now we want to do it in a way that uh, solves them in a bar. So looking at this, it's on the top uh, left, and this one is on the top right. Now uh, if it's on the top left, you need to move it so this is where the piece is currently at on that side. So to make this go in a bar, you can either make it there or there. But to make it easier, move it here. So now it's in a place. And then you can turn the two together like this to form a bar. Now if you move this up directly into here in this free spot, it would destroy a white piece. And you can't restore that white without destroying yellow. So what you need to do, you move this into the bar, like that, restore. So if you again have three on top and a yellow here, you basically um, just like the white we had before, you move it into a place where you push it up, it'll make a bar like yellow here, and then you turn it away and restore the broken pieces. All right, now you got your first two center, you're gonna make your other four centers. Now remember this, again, get your uh, three by three. So it goes like this. If you have white on the right, blue, orange, green, red, or boger, that's how I remember it. So you have blue in this order, you're gonna make it in that order so you don't mix up the color scheme. All right, so we're gonna make blue. All right, we have two blues like this, diagonal. So we have another blue here. Now we can move this to here. So when we push this blue up, it makes a bar like that. And then we can bring this blue back. Uh, we can find another blue and that's over here. All right, so again, put this up into a three um, configuration. Uh, you move it in a place where when you bring this up, it makes a bar, move that out, bring this back. So we got blue. 
now uh, keeping the white on the right and blue facing us uh, after blue's orange boger remember that so orange bar right here so we can um, turn it around to be easier move it into place move it up we destroyed one blue so move it out the way restore we got blue fixed and the orange up there and our last orange piece is on the bottom now to get it on the bottom to the top is basically very simple you can rotate this up destroy some pieces rotate that out the way move that back and we have to solve uh, now we can move this up into here again if you do that and you try to restore you're still gonna break a piece so what you want to do is you want to bring it into a um, bar so when you restore this bar goes back down like that now onto the last two centers is this is the harder part for beginners but it's okay uh, you usually will have this where again is a three pieces and this so again rotate it. you don't you can ignore the top ones rotate this one so when you push it up again you make a bar rotate it back restore now um, you also might get this where all of them are solved and these two now this one depending on your color scheme so if uh, for example or orange is on here opposite orange is red so you want to move the red bar up not the green bar so we move the red up, rotate it twice to restore, bring it back down. So you have the correct color scheme, yellow opposite white, red opposite orange, green opposite blue. Now uh, on to the next step. The next step in solving of 4x4 is the edge pairing. So basically you pair edges with the same color and then uh, you move on to the next stage. So uh, for beginners, I like to teach them with white edges first and then working with other colors. So find a random white edge. So like this one, this one, this one. Uh, let's start with this. White and orange. And the other white and orange piece is right here. Now we can rotate it uh, like this across from each other. Now if it's di directly across, we can't actually do that. So if your edges is like this directly across, do this move. Right up right down front counterclockwise right counterclockwise front counterclockwise right so then you have it diagonal so you must have all your edges like this before you pair so now we can um this slice it over so it pairs it now we broke up the center so what we want to do is move it up into the top and re repair it with a broken edge so when you slice it back you don't really care because that edge is already broken and we have paired up one all right uh let's find another white one we have white and green and the other white and green piece is right here so if we rotate it into the motion up here again it's flipped if it's on the bottom same algorithm you do right up right counterclockwise front right counterclockwise front counterclockwise right so now we have them diagonal and you just slice it and move it in the top and replace it with a broken edge so this one this one and that one so we replaced it slice this back to fix the centers now let's find another one um white and red and another white and red piece so we move it in a way that makes it diagonal uh, this one is already diagonal to each other, so you don't need to do that algorithm. Slice it. Replace with the edge that's broken. Pull that back down. Rebuild the centers. Uh, Alright, our last white one is over here. Green and, uh, I mean, <laughs> blue and white, sorry. And the other blue and white is right here, so they're already diagonal. So we can uh, pair these together. Now the top has one last broken edge. Bring it up. Restore. Just like that. Now we start on doing other edges. Uh, I like to do yellow. So 
these two yellow they're together so green and yellow green and yellow but again they're directly across do the same algorithm right up right down front counter front right counterclockwise front counterclockwise right so now they're diagonal from each other now we again we slice it now um when your top is all good edges meaning they'll solve you can actually do that so what you do you flip the cube over to a at the top where it did not solve. So now you slice it from here, move it up, replace with a bad edge, move this down, and then restore. Our next yellow, red and a green, I mean yellow and orange, yellow and orange, they are directly across. Do the same algorithm, just flip it. Now they're uh, diagonal, slice them. Uh, now you replace with any of these three edges. Now restore the centers. Uh, next one I see is red and yellow. And the other red and yellow piece is over here. So we can rotate it down like this. And now again they're together at diagonal. So we can do the flipping algorithm. So now the diagonal, now we can slice it. And uh, notice that the top has only this one. Now when you move this, it, you have nothing to replace with. So just move the top over. So you um, do this, and then you have this to replace it with again. Now uh, yellow has one more edge to do. And that one is yellow and blue, and the other yellow and blue. So rotate it like this or do whatever to get them um, in the same area and again these two are diagonally across we can do this now they're across from each other now again the top it's all full and if the bottom has uh, any vacant areas flip it over so you get the uh, broken edge on top slice pair it move it up use this to restore the centers all right we did yellow and white now move on to other so next off uh, I'm gonna do red and blue find the other one it's right here let's hit it so it's again across so this one is diagonally which is good now we notice that the top of the cube is uh, all solved edges and the bottom it's also all solved edges so what you want to do when you have nothing to replace with after you slice this is find another unsolved edge and basically just put it into the top area so then you have a piece to replace it with when you slice move this up turn it and bring it down to restore the centers now um the last few is these two now when you're on to the last two edges you have nothing else to replace it with you need to know this so when it's like this this is the only time you want them directly across so flip the pieces this is what you want it to be when you have the last two and nothing else so what you want to do is do this move these two together and then do the flipping algorithm and then restore now you got your solved pieces and now your edges are solved now on to the last step. Now if you don't know how to solve a 3x3, three three, then this step uh, is going to be tricky because it's basically 3x3 three three stage. So um, even though you don't know how to solve one, I'll still teach the steps in here. So the first step is to build a white cross. Um, so we got this, these two, we can move it into the green and white centers like this. Uh, white and blue rotate it into the white and blue rotate it down white and red rotate it to red center rotate it down and we got the white and orange rotate it there bring it down so we have a white cross um i won't be going too slow because i assume you know how to solve three by three if you don't click the i card again for a tutorial now, if you do know how to solve a 3x3, three three, um, 
do F2L or whatever you use. And so I'm just gonna go forward with that. All right, when you finish your first two layers, if you use beginners, F2L, whatever, and then get to um, orienting the top layer, if you have this, it's gonna be unfamiliar because this is what we call OLL parity, meaning one edge is flipped. So uh, to solve this, um, you're gonna need to destroy the centers. So what? So this is the algorithm to do this. Move both these layers down, turn it up twice, move this layer down, spin the front twice, move this layer back up, spin the front twice, move these two layers up twice, spin up twice, move this two once, spin up twice, move this down, spin up twice, move the front twice, move these two layers twice, and spin the front twice. Now you have a familiar case with a yellow cross or whatever, a bar or the L shape or just a dot. You should know how to solve these cases, so solve the yellow. If you don't, again, go to the tutorial. Now we solve yellow, and uh, you get um, another parity. If you are lucky, you won't. Now this is another parity. Um, let me set up for you. So if you use beginner's method, uh, you again, you put headlights on the back and do this alg. And you see some unfamiliar things. So this has to go here, but this has to go there, and that has to go here. That is not uh, a case on a 3x3. Three three. So let me set up for you. So you can have this where this goes there. You can have this where this goes in this direction. Or you can have this where these two swaps and these two swaps. Or you can also have this, where swap, swap. Now, on 4 i 4 you can get these cases, which is also called PLO parity. So to solve PLO parity, you just do this, U2, both of these R's, spin that, and then bring this back down. You just move that single layer, T2 layers, and then U2. Now you should have a familiar case. This is the, this is um this case where they have to go in that cycle. So I'll show you the algorithm here. Right, up, right, up, right, up, right, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, and then right two. So you solve the 4x4. Four four. Uh, again, if you don't know the 4x3 stage, check out the tutorial on how to solve it. And um, thanks for watching.